Oscar-nominated director Roland Jaffe recently sat down with Catholic News Agency to discuss his most recent work, There Be Dragons, a film set during the Spanish Civil War about the life of St. Jose Maria Escriva. Roland Jaffe, as an agnostic, why did you decide to make a film about a Catholic saint? Because I thought this was a very important man, <clears throat> for one thing. Um, a saint, after all, is a hero of the church. That's a hero of some billion or so people. Um, this is a man of significance and importance. And one of the things that strikes me is that saintliness, in some senses, is not really a life. It's as though saintliness is a series of acts. There are saintly acts. I think you have to imagine a saint's life as a sort of string, like a bead necklace. And on this bead necklace are a consistent, continuing set of saintly acts. It's not that a saint somehow gets some inner truth and now there are no struggles, I'm just a saint and everything works. No, no, a saint has to struggle every day with complex and, and, and often passionately felt issues. Um, we're not saying saints are not human. We're saying saints are fundamentally and totally human. It's their very humanity that makes them, enables them to be saints. Therefore, they say something very important to us, which is not a saint is something who cannot aspire to be. It says saintly moments, doing saintly things, forgiving somebody, um, showing a particular kind of charity, a particular kind of warmth, a particular kind of connection to others, those are within your remit. I think the most interesting part of Jose Maria's life is the way he wrestled with doubts. And I think, again, this is a very, very important thing to understand. And certainly, for me, I think this was, this was uh, an interesting thing for me to think about and ponder. One of the things that Jose Maria and many other saints enable us to understand is that feeling doubt, wrestling with doubt, confronting doubt, sharing doubt is part of the religious experience. It's not that religion sort of is the universal panacea to everything. In many ways, it may make life more difficult to live um, than just accepting the sort of daily status quo. So I think for me, it was very, very important to understand that the doubts of a saint like Jose Maria or the doubts of a saint like um, Mother Teresa are the very stuff of their saintliness, that they were big enough to encompass uncertainty. Even in the face of God, they could stand before God and say, forgive me, but I doubt, I am human. That's a crucially important thing to understand, I think, because it's very freeing about the depth and quality and the requirement of honesty in the religious experience. I think the film is very clear that forgiveness is the central Christian message. Um, love is, of course, a central Christian message, but love and forgiveness is a particular gift that um, Christianity lays out, I think, um, before human beings. I think one of the ways to see this is that this is a process of giving. It's a process of giving that acts in two ways, because it acts to free both parties. It acts to free the person doing the forgiveness, and it obviously acts to free the person who's been forgiven. But it's not easy. And it's not that we go around forgiving everything, which means nothing really matters. No, no. If we have to forgive somebody, we have to, give something, we have to forgive something that's caused an immense amount of pain, and there will be a great cost and a great struggle in being able to forgive. But that's the Christian message, that that struggle itself is worthwhile. Why is it important? Because it breaks the cycle. Not forgiving perpetuates a cycle, may perpetuate a cycle of hatred amongst peoples, amongst families, uh, amongst brother and sister, husband and wife, amongst friends, um, obviously amongst enemies. But the act of, in a way, standing, take another human's hand and saying, before God, we are all imperfect, and our imperfection is what we share, is a way of uniting humanity in a way that I think is powerful, strong, and is, is a way forward. You could, as a scientist, say that forgiveness is an evolutionary step of the direst necessity. As an admirer and lover of God, one would say forgiveness is an acknowledgement of the beauty of this creation that is well worth sharing with one's creator.